Hi Geminis, thank you for viewing me today. My name is Elena, welcome in or welcome back. I am doing your general spread. I have encouragement with Moonlight. Okay, I'm going to get some cards right now for you. This is for all placements for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, whatever resonates best for you. Okay, I'm gonna get some cards right now for your strongest energies. If it sounds like something you're going through, this is your reading. I know I can't resonate with everyone, but I feel I have certain messages for certain people. All right, all right. Okay, Spirit Guide, strongest energies around the sign of Gemini's. Thank you. This reading is for, please, for the sign of Gemini's. This reading is for, thank you. Whoa. Huh. Wow. Beautiful. All right, underneath the deck, I have uh, making a choice. I think right now around you, Gemini, that this is your reading and you are making a choice about something. And I feel it's from things in your life that you feel have come apart. In other words, like there's a part of you that has not been together. Meaning, no, I'm not saying you're not together. Believe me, you're my fellow heir. I love you. But we all come into this place in our life where you're making a choice right now about the things that you want to come together for you. That I feel that there's some things in your life that you still have dreams on. You still feel that there's a part of you that you want to explore. You're making a choice right now with coming apart. And I just feel like you're deciding about something you want to come together. I just feel that. I have storm warning. It's just the tornado blowing through right now around you. It's just clearing a path for you. You know, it's actually a good card of just clearing something for you. You know, because right behind that, that tornado is the sun and blue skies. I have slow and steady. This is something you need to keep moving forward with. You know, one short step at a time. I have one ring circus. And they gave you the dragon's lair. Oh, listen. I find a feel th that this is something I feel that you're on top of the elephant on a rock. And I feel like you're looking at something that was once your dream. Something that you once wanted. The dragon's lair. Meaning that it was basically, I feel something that you've lost power in. And I feel it was part of your dream. I really do. I feel energies, you guys, if you've never viewed me. I have solitude around you right now, really trying to find your answers about something, really looking out at something I feel. I have commitments, commitment. It's something you want to be committed to. I have the mountain. I want you to see the mountain card. There's a hole right up there. The sun's coming through on top of you. It's melting your dragon's lair. I mean, it's like whatever, the dragon is the wise creature, the mystical creature. You know, the wise energy. I think you're getting back into some fire. Like, I think the snow caps are melting. It's like you're starting to have some epiphanies about something that you felt recently around you that have been a one ring circus. It's like, do I got to do this all by myself? I would say yes, because it's going to come together. Commitment and solitude is the things you want to come together for you. Oh my God, I can't even believe I said that. Come together. So this is everything in your life right now. I feel they want you to move towards that you truly want. That perhaps it was once something you gave up on. You know, it may be some artistic endeavor, a relationship, giving up on love, maybe going after looking for a new job, a new place to live. But right now, Spirit is telling me that don't, don't stress about anything. Your path is being cleared right now. You're just making a choice and the things that I feel, if you look at the coming apart and then the one side of the choice is purple, I feel that right now you're realizing that the things that are important to you, the things you want to be connected with, because the last card they gave you, you guys, everything is coming together. All right. I feel that this is just something you have to have faith in, commitment in, and know that whatever you're going after, you will be the star and you will shine. All right, let's look at your recent past just a little bit. And then I'll look at what is coming in for you. Pardon me, I need a little water. And then love crossing at the end. Thank you. All right. Recent past to me is the window to why those are here. This deck is yelling at me. I have, oh, I, know, 
I never know who's under these decks, you guys. King of Swords, Temperance with Judgment. Oh, well, Temperance and you are showing up. So I feel that you had a lot of patience about something. I feel you started to have a new vision about something with the King of Air. You have your sword. I just feel recently behind you, I feel there's a part of you that you were going after that you felt was lost or detached because then you have judgment. Letting some things go so new gateways can open towards your Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Those are under the deck. I'll put them back in and let's just see what comes out. These are going to bring me right to your current energies, Geminis. My beautiful Geminis. Hmm. Spirit guides, strongest recent past for Geminis. Why are these here in their current energies? I feel like everything right now around you is coming together. You're finally seeing something. Recent past for this. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Sign of Geminis. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit guides. Thank you. That is perfect. Okay, underneath the deck is the old mighty manifester, the magician, the one who creates recently behind you. I have the Empress sideways sitting right on my lap. There was something you thought about a lot. Uh, three of Wands, it's your ship at a distance. Well, when is it going to come in? And I feel that it had to do with things that you felt love towards. You know, I have the chariot with strength and the lovers. Um, I feel behind you recently, you gave up on a dream or a wish or something like that. I have not seen the cards, so I'm just guessing. I'm just feeling. Beautiful Empress energy sideways with the magician. I still feel recently behind you is you had lost some, some magic and thinking that something can come in for you that you love. Well, who love? I don't know, but I have the sun in reverse and here comes the two of swords in decision. Two swords, Gemini. Ener this is your energy, Gemini. That's just like, you know, I'm going to tell you why you're at a crossroads because you lost some optimism in things and we all do it. We all do it. But remember the card that's around you right now, the mountain and the storm warning. It's like, it's just clearing a clean path for you, Gemini's. Spirit wants me to tell you that there's this giant beam of light around you right now and i feel like they want to tell me that your the hole in your mountain is opening up and the light okay is about to shine recently in the past all right it put you at a crossroads because you lost some optimism some some things that made you happy once wheel of fortune is sideways recently behind you telling me that things in your life are trying to change but everything is in divine timing because I feel right now you're making a choice about climbing a new mountain into the sun and the seven of swords the getaway card I feel like you 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 ran away from something recently behind you and I feel that right now you're making a choice about the things you once gave up on and I feel that everything is coming together for you Gemini's this is around you right now whether you know it or not everything is coming together for you all right let's 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 look at some cards for your incoming <laughs> all right i'm gonna use this deck today and i don't know why but let's look the cosmic womb the divine feminine dances on one foot with a balancing act radical acceptance of your new life i put the new life in there i saw the radical acceptance with the the heart on fire you guys are like walking into new realms everybody's energies are switching so rapidly right now we're in airy season you know it is the new year of astrology it's actually the new year and this is the first sign so this is the time we make things happen oh there we go i have the vanishing mirror mirror i don't know where that that word mirror how what did that word come out like i think come out of me the vanishing mirror ego sublimation submission Finally crashing something that you're once holding on, onto that isn't serving you anymore. A part of your ego. You guys, we are made up of so much ego. It's the human body. The soul has no ego. It's the human spirit. All right. Strongest incoming energies. I think the mirror is about to crash and you are walking into a new life. Things are about to switch up. Fast. 
Spirit Guide's strongest incoming energies. Thank you for the beautiful sign of Gemini's. What do you want to tell me? Thank you. Incoming for Gemini's. Oh, wow. Anything else for the sign of Gemini's? Thank you. All right. I have the first breath, beginner's mind. Uh-oh. Here we go, Gemini's. Oh, boy. They want you to walk into something, Gemini's, and it's about your thing that you have passion for. That's It's just the dream thief, refusal of the call, and the heart home. Hmm. I have needing direction. I feel spirit wants me to tell you that the way to go is to follow the light, meaning what is going to make you feel good. Stop worrying about all the other circumstances around it. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. I have the walking tree or the waking tree. Reconciliations. Yeah, it's going to be a reconciliation about something you once wanted. Something that was once your dream. Something's coming back in for you. I have the overflow. Overwhelm and plenty. It looks like your uh, river is about to flow over. And I mean flow over of abundance once you make a choice about something that's important to you reconnecting with something again sometimes we just get disconnected from things in life i have the crossing initiation walk towards your dream walk towards the light walk towards the place of something that you want to come together for you and everything will come into fruition look at all that energy look at all that light i have the sky dancers surrender to the things that aren't serving you anymore Surrender to the things in your life that are completions. And the last card they gave me. I have winter's dream, the gestation period. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. It's the snail walking into the light. It's just slow and steady. They want you to go after something that you love, that you feel will be your dream. Spirit's going to help you cross over. Spirit, when, if we follow our heart and we're always true to thyself and things in life, we're always being helped. It's when we do things that we shouldn't be doing. Spirit's like, nope, you're on your own. <laughs> See you back on this road in a couple of years. All right, let's look at uh, some messages for those. Ten of Wands, the Hermit, Two of Wands. Time for you to move forward. Have a little patience, temperance. Make everything balance and blend. And something will come into fruition for you. What I feel, I just feel it. Spirit guides, I guess. A few um, cards for these oracles for my beautiful Gemini's. What do you want to tell them? Next week, two weeks. Thank you for the sign of Gemini's. Thank you, Spirit. What messages for the sign of Gemini's? Thank you. Anything else? I want to slap you in my throat chakra. I have the queen of love. Oh, look at this, Gemini. <laughs> oh, shit. The queen of love. The queen of cups. Eight of cups is in reverse, you guys. This is about you not being in a place of disappointments. And they want you to be open to new things with love. They want you to be this divine queen of everything is possible with love. Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups is telling me that what you have coming in for you is everything's coming together with love. As long as you go after everything you want with love. And it's something you're going to master. This is what we're all after. We all want to master something. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling in a place of, I've done this. I can do this. I have the Moon. Two of Pentacles. Uh, the Moon is about your intuition. Eight of Swords. Okay. And then I have the Six of Swords sideways. Six of Swords is telling me that it's best for you to go to calmer waters instead of getting all up in your head out of something that you don't have the clarity on. That you're just guessing because I have it with the moon. There's no need to go back and forth. Spirit is trying to tell me for you to go after your dream. and Talk about dream. Ten of Cups. And I have a Ten of Wands. You know, your happiness is telling me that it's before you as soon as you realize the things in your life that you can't carry around anymore. They're not making you happy. 
I think Spirit's trying to push you into this new energy. Here comes the Page of Swords, new Inquisitive Air energy. You guys are going to start thinking of something in a new way. You're going to be eager to learn things. You're, you're going somewhere new. And I just know it because I can see it and I can feel it. Because here comes the fool. <laughs> and I have the Almighty High Priestess about trusting your intuition. Trust that inner gut knowing about what direction you need to go. That's why the Six of Swords is sideways with the moon. You know, trust the unknown. Trust going into a place that you feel is going to make you feel whole and it's everything you want with love. They want you to go towards that. Spirit wants to tell you everything's going to come together. Commitments of love, um, abundance, everything. And I just feel that, you know, it's time to let something go. But I got the fool. You're going, Gemini's. In the next few weeks, you're you're gonna you're getting ready to take all new leaps. You're just you're just taking a leap of faith. You got that new acquisitive page of swords. That's just like wow. You finally have your vision on something. Trust your intuition. Really believe in it. Be open to new things with love. There's no need to hold on to any disappointments. Spirit's saying, let go of the ones that make you unhappy because the Ten of Cups wants to come in for you, Gemini's. That was a big message today, Gemini's. Because recently behind you, things are trying to line up. And right now, I feel they are. I'm going to get a few messages from Spirit Guide and then we'll into Love Crossing. You guys, I really don't know. Leap of faith. The fool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Spirit Guides, it's never a coincidence. It always ties my readings together. What do you want to tell my beautiful Geminis today about the reading? Okay. All right, Spirit Guys, two or three cards, please, for the sign of Geminis. Thank you. What do you want to tell Geminis about this reading today? What messages about the reading for Geminis? Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Geminis? Anything else? Oh my God, I can't believe that card. I can't believe the way it landed on my lap and fell. Anything else you want to tell the sign of Gemini's today? I think they're done. When they get choppy like that, they're done. I have the chariot. Oh, it looks like you're going somewhere. But uh, you guys, this is a little weird. The card that's on my here, landed on my lap, rolled over, is the page of Michael, the page of swords. It's rather weird. Okay, I take them in. Oh, I got two over here. Beautiful. All right, you guys, this is what they want to say to you. They gave you a four, a five, and a page of air. Pardon me. Four of Gabriel. Right, right here. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Because you got all this coming in. Get eager to take some new leap of faith, Geminis. I'm just saying. Five of Raphael, Spirit has a big message for you, Angel Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release, regret, and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Meaning wherever you've been, you're going into new places. There was a reason something happened. Because they gave you the page of Michael and you finished off with the page of Swords and the Fool. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. I feel like this is just about you being that inquisitive page. Learn everything that you want to know. Take the leap. Go for it. Everything wants to come together. <laughs> All right. That was uh, enough preaching for one. Oh my God. I can't believe I said that this card. Everything wants to come together. Just slow and steady. The sun's coming through your mountain. All right, spirit guides. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Gemini's. I'm rolling into love crossing. If you are not dealing with anyone, thank you for viewing me today, you guys. I am going live tonight with Ease Astrology. If you're around, I think it starts at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Uh, there's a link in my community. It's uh, where tarot or astrology meets tarot. And it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Thank you. Have a beautiful day for Love Crossing. I'm going to go over here and I don't know why, but this deck is kind of calling to me. I'm going to get one deck. Strongest Love Crossing energies. 
They may or may not be all your persons. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. I have big Leo energy. And then I got the Five of Cups. Oh my God, I heard wah, wah, wah. Something didn't work out. Uh, because somebody was standing up for something too much with the King of Wands. That's what was blocking them from moving forward. They had a hard time releasing something here. All right. I've seen enough. I'm going to put them in. And let's see what Spirit wants to show me. All right. Spirit Guides love crossing for my beautiful Geminis, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Strongest love crossing energies my Geminis <laughs> have been dealing with. What do you want to tell me? Strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Geminis. Thank you. Anything else love crossing for Geminis? Thank you. Anything else today, please, Spirit? Thank you. Love crossing. Oh, they're jumping like trout. And then I saw the way these cards snuck away. Huh. Somebody avoid. Oh, here comes the Knight of Wands sideways. Well, the Knight of Wands sideways is one knight who is, doesn't know if he's coming or going. Or she. Not going not gonna to label. I got another sideway card. Who is it? Queen of Swords sideways. <laughs> this person, uh, whoever you've been dealing with, uh, I, if you're the cross watcher, I am not ever, I do not ever pick on anybody, but this is a person who is completely confused because they feel they don't know the whole clarity on a situation. They haven't, they haven't evaluated. They don't feel like they've had enough of something from you yet. Ace of swords in reverse. They feel like there's some type of communication that needs to be had. I'm just saying what the pro somebody is very wounded about something. They're, they're in this energy. It could be. I don't know. I feel a lot of Leo energy in here, but it's just somebody who's got wounded. Ah, oh, well, this person is very concerned about their stability, their finances, their money. The King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, they have a chariot and someone who's been trying to release things in their life so they can rebirth new things. All right. I have a flipper. I should. No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I saw something here. Oh my God. Look at the card that just flew out. Oh my, this is, oh my God. See, I can't tell you some of the things that I think I see and then I do it and it like always plays out in, in extreme weird. I thought I saw a flipper and then these cards were left underneath the deck that were on the table. I have the lovers, the moon, and the, someone's hiding about wanting a reunion with you, wanting to pack something up with you. They don't, they're, this, whoever you've been dealing with, you know, we're all made up of different things, but I think it's someone who, Oh, wow. Didn't know what they wanted. I've, I'm just going to say that they're just confused because they felt they didn't have some type of truth. Two swords. Hanging man. And I got one card left and I can see it's in reverse. Pisces energy. But the the Pisces are, are magical creatures. And they're ruled by water. They're ruled by the moon. But they get in a position sometimes. It's just the energy. It doesn't have to be a Pisces of not trusting their intuition and it puts them almost in a stuck position because they are ruled by that intuition and then they get at a crossroads like this person didn't trust something here and i don't know what it was and i have the empress in reverse oh well why do i feel like they didn't trust you gemini's oh no i don't know uh wow um it's somebody who came unglued i mean I feel like it's somebody who just wants to, to, to clear up the air with you. Um, it could be their energy. Maybe they've been very out of whack and out of sync because the Empress in Reverse is not good energy. But I'll just get their intentions towards you because I feel whoever you've been dealing with is just a little upside down at the moment about nurturing things. They, they're having a hard time staying in one place. You better slow down. I got the magician. Here comes the knight of communication. And here comes the hermit. You better slow down. This is going to be their strongest energies towards you in the next few weeks. The hermit introspection about talking to you about something with the knight of swords. Hmm. I just think it's somebody who got nervous and 
ran in other directions. That's what I feel. Spirit Guide, strongest love crossing towards my Gemini's intentions. Next few weeks. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to show me? Love crossing intentions. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, I felt that. Love crossing intentions towards my... Oh, the five of swords. <laughs> I don't even want to ask. They're literally like throwing them in my hands today. The nine of pen. This is someone who's going to use some word manipulation on you to feel whole again. Because what they want... They want their new opportunity of love with you. They want you back, Gemini's. I got the Ten of Cups, and they want to heal something with you. There's the hanging man again with the Six of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to balance something with you. I feel somebody, I just feel like somebody's having a hard time breaking loose here. Queen of Air. Oh, I see why. I got the Moon. And there's the card that landed on me, the Seven of Pentacles. It's somebody, I felt it was somebody who really wanted to start to put some work into this with you. I feel like they're starting to see the light about a situation. They're trusting their intuition now. Uh, the Queen of Air is all about intuition. It's with the moon. It's Libra energy. And it's just telling me that this person is starting in the next few weeks. Trust the unknown. They want to talk to you. I have the Empress. I just feel like I saw the Empress in reverse in their current energies and I feel that they're coming back into some type of energy where they want to nurture something with you. They want to harvest something with you, Geminis. And then I have the Five of Coins. In this deck, I feel like this is a person who now is ready to give, who's ready to try to give you something that they didn't give you in the past. They want to nurture something with you, but that Five of Swords is a card of word manipulation. I feel like this is a person who is going to try to talk them their way out of it, or they feel you are. They want to heal something here with you, my beautiful Geminis. They really do want to put some work into this. I felt this card, and I just feel like this is someone, you know, this is about putting work into it with other people to see the fruits from your label, look, work on your garden, you work on your tree. But it's a person right now who's really realizing that they have to make more of an effort. They're going to use words to get you back. I'm just going to say right now they want to heal something with you or they're going to afraid they're afraid you're going to say some words i don't know but i feel it's somebody who is definitely coming back in to nurture this all right i just feel that they're starting to have their clarity and they know they have to have open conversations with you they want their ten of cups and an ace of cups this could be somebody new gemini's you know it could be so, a new person but that's a lot of love energy right there and I'm not going to deny it, but I feel it's somebody who could be a little tricky with words. It might be you, you know, but I feel this person really wants this thing to come together with you. That's what I feel. Let's see what happens in the next few weeks. If it's somebody you want nothing to do with, I completely understand. I've been there a few times myself. Thank you for viewing me, my beautiful Geminis. Um, hopefully you guys can catch the live show tonight. If not, have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful day. If this helped you, please remember to hit the like button. And thank you for viewing me.